Welcome back to Katie's Homemade Life. Today I'm going to be showing you a um, grocery haul and there's a lot of junk. I'm telling you now, we're going on vacation for a few days and so obviously we got a lot of junk <laughs> and this is for a lot of people too. Um, all my brothers and sisters are going to be down there so it's this is for a lot of people and I did get some stock up items um, for my pantry and stuff too. I didn't want to neglect that too this week and um, it's been $176 and you don't see the soda or the the um, waters that I got they're in the car ready to go for tomorrow for the beach so um, I'm in charge um, of a couple meals one meal is gonna be hamburgers and hot dogs I already have the um, frozen hamburgers from Sands Club and the hot the hamburger buns I already had two. I have some in the freezer. So I'll just bring those. I, I need to make myself a list because I'm afraid I'm going to forget stuff. Oh. Okay. So anyways, so it's cheaper now to buy grass-fed meat than it is regular ground beef. It's just crazy to me. And I, I'm sorry, but I put this on my uh, bag because I don't want to put it on my big tablecloth. Whiskey. Okay, so I got three pounds of um, ground beef, and they were f this the I was afraid it said they were low on both, so I got a couple of each because I was afraid they would say it would be out of stock. So I got um, two pounds of this one and one of this. This one was four ninety eight, and this was five sixty eight. So it's the same price as. Get an 80-20 almost, and for 50 cents more, I'll pay for grass-fed and better quality. So, it's just crazy. Anyways, I usually get my meat at um, Sam's or usually Target. I can find stuff on Markdown, but now with everything going on, I can't. So, and then I got this mozzarella because we're going to do um, sandwiches. My mom got the lunch meat, and I just got this cheese just in case to have for extra. And then I got cottage cheese. I don't like the um, the Sam's Club cottage cheese. I know this one isn't good for you, but um, the Too Good is the one I think I like. And only Target and Publix in my area carries it, and I wasn't going there this week. So I just grabbed the, um, the Great Value one. So that's what I got. And then I normally buy onions, but I... Uh, gave myself a treat. I wasn't cutting an onion. So I spent, it's probably as much money I spent on a whole bag of onions. Yes, I bought this. I used to buy this when I was younger and I'm naive and wasn't much of a cook. So it's been a long time since I bought this, but hey, you know, sometimes you just gotta give in to yourself and give, let yourself have a treat, save yourself time. So, and then I got avocados for my Wesley and more zucchini, strawberries. I don't know if they, they look okay. I didn't get a lot of vegetables. I have a lot of, a lot, a lot of freezer vegetables. I did get broccoli. I have a lot of cauliflower I have to go through. And a lot of frozen fruit I've got to use up soon so I can rotate through that. And this four pack of macaroni and cheese, the place we're going to has a full kitchen. So I wanted to get snack stuff and this macaroni and cheese I got for the kids. I meant to switch and get the great value and I forgot. So um, the only substitutes, I had no substitutes and they were out of two things. They were out of paper plates and they were out of my wine. So lucky me, but I don't know why, but everywhere I go with paper plates are low. So I'm hoping next week when I go to Sam's Club, I can get a big quantity so that I don't have to worry about it for a while. We don't use a lot of them, but like I need them for vacation. So now I've got to stop somewhere tomorrow and look for paper plates. So, and then I did get a salad kit and um, trail mix for my husband. He likes that one. I think that one's his favorite. And then I finally found these. I haven't been able to find these anywhere. They're pretzel goldfish and they're my, um, my son's, my uh, younger son's favorite. So it's exciting. And I got guacamole for the tacos one night. And then I got hummus just to have. And then the taco seasoning packets. I do have the taco seasoning in bulk, but I just wanted to bring this because it's easy for the, um, the trip. 
And then I did make how many biscuits the other day, and I got more of this. I should enough. I know. I gotta make my own, but I I need to give myself some time for that. Okay, and then I got turkey sticks. We like those. And um, I figured these, hopefully they'll make it to the beach and not be melted. <laughs> I'm gonna hurry and get this in the freezer. Um, the beach is like an hour from us, so it should be fine because we'll burn a big cooler. And these are only really like two fifty six. dollars They're a really good deal. And you get, I think, 12? How many? Yeah, 12. So that'll be good. They'll probably last a night with all the kids, but I'll be fine. And then I did get two things of fruit cocktail. I wanted to get fruit salad. And they, they didn't have fruit salad. Like fresh fruit salad. They used to. I don't know if they just, I don't know. It was really weird. So. Um, and I got queso dip for um, the tortilla chips. And then I did get three gallons of milk. I just only pulled out one. And I threw the other two in the fridge. I didn't want it to get bad. And I got more of this. If you saw my last video, um, I used this in my food storage ideas video. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it below. And this is so good. I wanted to buy a couple more. Because I can only find this at Walmart and Target. And I got this for a treat for my um, James for a treat for him, for the beach and the kids. And I'm really worried about using a coffee pot at the uh, the beach, because I don't, I don't know, I'm just worried about it. So I uh, invested in myself, the Starbucks coffee. Normally just drink the uh, Sam's Club brand or McCafe, but that's what I bought. So it was, oh, it was almost $5, it was so expensive. To me, that's expensive. So, I was gonna buy two, but I said no, I'll buy one and I'll just drink some of my mom's coffee. So, I run out. And then I got ketchup, we needed that. She's getting the mustard and the other stuff, so. And then I got um, the sweet cream, the great value. I haven't had this one in a long time. I wanna try something different. And I think there's like less junk in it. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of preservatives or anything. Well, it has natural flavors, okay. Well, it's, it's better than the other one. So, and then I got orange juice, and then for breakfast, I got these Tennessee Pride sausage biscuits, so I don't have to make breakfast. So, that's something we don't normally buy, but it's a treat. So, and what else? Um, and then I got these honey buns, too, so if someone wanted to sweet breakfast, they could have that instead. And I, then I did get these zebra cakes. So, this is for probably, like, 12 people for, like, a weekend. So, it's all going to go very, va very, very fast. Probably will last like a day and a half. So, and then Cheetos for my husband. Those are I'm not taking those with me. Those are for him. And then cheddar. Both my boys really like those. And then this one is really for my toddler who really likes those. And then she, just, she wanted chips for one night because the first night we're gonna do hamburgers and hot dogs. And then the next night we're gonna do nachos. So I got those. And then Red Bull for my husband. And I got these beans. These are the best beans. These Bush's uh, maple. They're really good. Really, really good. And then my husband requested the Truly. <laughs> it's okay. He, it's not the one he wanted. He really wants to try the um, the Happy Dad or whatever it's called. It's like a man seltzer. But they don't sell it in our area yet. So that's what I got. And... Um, so I spent $176. Oh, and I did get more of the sour cream. I don't know if I said that. But, so like I said, I'm missing the water, and I'm missing the soda, and I'm mostly packed. I were packing the day before, of course, so. I have, a, I have a list on my phone, so I just check stuff off as I go, and it makes it a little easier. And, oh, the flour. This is what I wanted to show you. So, Walmart has this all-purpose unbleached flour for only a dollar 22 this brown bag and it's five pounds that's such a good deal because I found unbleached flour at what's it called at um, Target for four dollars so that's a very good deal and then I did get this bread flour I was in a really hurry because I had like three minutes left till I was cut off from putting anything else in my order so I had to hurry and I just got this more expensive King Arthur they had a Pillsbury one, but I didn't have time to look at it. So I just got this one because I've been trying to make bread and stuff. 
and that kind of messed up and it didn't rise much so I wonder if that has something to do with it I don't think it does I think I didn't have the yeast hot enough the water for the yeast hot enough so because <sighs> I got distracted and I wasn't paying attention so and then I just got the broccoli just to have but anyway I got these containers I got these on sale <laughs> me and my sales I got this at um, Macy's I've never bought anything from Macy's before but it's um I can fit five or six pounds of flour in it because I have a nice container on my counter for flour but I want one I got two for the freezer they have $30 who would pay that I paid 15 and I feel like I'm silly but you know kind of stupid but it has a really nice lid on it so I, I know I didn't need it, but I did need it because I need it for my freezer to, to keep my flour. So see, it's Martha Stewart Flower Keeper. It holds like six pounds because I had a big five pound bag, you know, just like the normal and it fit perfect because you're supposed to keep your flour basically in the freezer because of weevils and everything. And I learned the hard way because that happened to me. So we won't go there. Okay, so I have to go hurry, put everything away, and then pack for tonight, and we're leaving tomorrow morning. So the next part of the video you'll see, um, if you stay tuned, and I'll show you some of the beach, vlog, whatever, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Go, boys. Be careful. You coming back? Get him, Les. Come on, Les, get him. Come on, Wesley, get him. Get him. Honey, get him.